we are back again with the Bobastardo board and um, we're going to do a bit of code fiddling today. Hopefully my screen recorder is recording the Arduino uh, screen on my, on my laptop. So yes, if you've seen the Instagram slash Facebook post, we did have a slight technical error where I left the positive lead for the power supply touching the bench and I didn't realise it and I also had the big metal heatsink touching the bench and then I plugged it in and where there was fire and sparks and death and it still smells like burnt electronics in here but thankfully I had another uh, MOSFET lying around actually I've got a few it's not exactly the same ones that were on the board not super confident how well it will work but we're going to try it anyway so one of uh, Simon's comments he left in the video was that the resistance was different of, of the thermistor for the exhaust. So I have changed that back to, oh that's the exhaust one, a 100k resistor. I've gone for that now. The other bit I was going to change was, there was a flame, not a flame, uh, values, right? So we're going to leave that flame threshold, presume that's, that's the one. Where's the fan, 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 fan? There's an idle fan. Where is it? 22 size pump. Uh, start speed. I'm going to take that down to 30 because I think 35 was too much. It might have even been higher than that. I've already changed it. But everything else I think is so far so good. There's, I remember, I can't remember which bits control what, but we'll, if we could just get it started and running just now is what we're aiming for. So let's upload that to the... Uh, Chip, the Arduino, the Adafruit Feather M, M0 Express. Thankfully it works. I mean the uploading bit. Mm, somebody loves me. Oh, well, it's flashed and it's restarted. Right, so everything's off, ready, uh, we've got the two temperature probes stuffed down the back now, so one showing 23 degrees and one showing minus 70, but that'll change once we attach a positive trigger. So let's trigger it and see if it starts. There we go, button one. And... The glow plug's glowing, there's no flames as yet from the MOSFET. Oh, I can see smoke. Fan speed's at 30. Oh. Uh. Yeah. Yeah, see what I've done there is not attach the fuel pump. Hold on, I'll be right back. Right, we'll just restart the whole thing and go from scratch. Not only had I not attached the fuel pump, I hadn't attached the fuel pipe to the diesel heat either. Fingers crossed, this time. Hey, fuel. Go on. Uh, glowing, still glowing. Come on, more pumping. Mm. Don't hear any ignition this time. Oh, oh, it started, it started. Got smoke, got flames. See, this is the bit here where we're going from firing up. I want it to go to running. Ah, see, my exhaust temps are still showing too hot and it's, it's not, it's way over here somewhere. So I've either cooked it
Oh no, it's working this time. Increasing burn. Oh, it's doing it this time. Well, it's working. Yay! Right. Happy days. That works. Let's kill it. Hey, it works. Okay, so hold on. Let me just bring you back over and we'll go around the board again. Just uh, I'll show you. Oh. So this is my replacement MOSFET, an IRF 3205, it's nothing particularly exciting. Uh, right, but I have noticed that the code in the cooldown cycle, where it operates the glow plug to do the finishing clean and hot runs far too long for my liking. Uh, so, here is the question. Oh. Oh, it's okay, it's just doing his thing, just finishing off. Uh, my question that I'll, if Simon's not watching, I'll probably email him. Where is the bit in the code that I can make it glow for less time during shutdown? Because my MOSFET's melting off right now. Uh, 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 not again. Come on. Nope. Nope. Right, that's that MOSFET has now also died. It has literally unsoldered itself from the board in front of me. That's odd. Why was it? Why did it run? Why? Why? Why there? Once it shut down and restarted, was the glow wasn't on in the code, but that MOSFET was running, and I know it's supposed to run to pulse the glow plug to get a exhaust temperature but what that did there was well melt my MOSFET that MOSFET possibly because it's an incompatible no, it's not the same as the one that came off so what I'm going to do now is go and order the correct MOSFET that that's supposed to be and put it on there and maybe try and build a big heat sink for it but at the moment it does run it will fire the heater up past the firing up stage and keep going. I just need to find a few bits of code to tweak. Where was it? Oh yeah, I was asking, where do we find the end cycle so we can make it glow less? And the mysterious water temperature sensor, where is it living now in the code that we can either use it for something else or disable it entirely? Because the bit I'm interested in is attaching the temperature sensor for the water to the casing and then telling it to keep the casing at a certain temperature. Yes, I'll need to build the cover back on so the wires all fit, etc. But uh, at the moment, yeah. Yeah. Apart from right, melting the glow plug, uh, not the glow plug, the glow plug MOSFET right off it again. That's twice now. It's starting to get embarrassing. Uh, apart from that, it's, it's running, it's doing the thing. So, if anyone can add any comments, suggestions, questions or any help whatsoever, please leave it down below and I'll be very happy or I'll try and be helpful, whichever of those two things happens. Thanks for watching.